Tea Party versus the Chamber of Commerce. Now, Chamber of Commerce is actually very, very right wing, but they have one very specific objective, which is to help corporations throughout the country and actually corporations throughout the world. Uh, they also help multinational corporations. So they spend a lot of money trying to buy politicians, mainly Republicans, but also Democrats as well. For example, they helped Blanche Lincoln in Arkansas. Who's surprised by that, right? But you know what? A lot of Tea Party guys are not taking their money. In fact, they're on the opposite side of that money. And you know what they're doing? They're winning, which is a very good thing. For example, last night, Ken Buck, a Tea Party candidate, uh, won against the Chamber of Commerce backed candidate Jane Norton. So that's a victory for them. But it's not just in Colorado, it's in Maine, South Carolina, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, Utah, Kentucky. For example, Trey Grayson lost in Kentucky to Rand Paul, of course. Republican Tim Burns lost Jack Murther's seat, even though the Chamber of Commerce had put a lot of money into that race. Now, that wasn't against the Tea Party necessarily, but he lost that race in Pennsylvania. Tea Party uh, backed uh, Mike Lee beat both incumbent Senator Bob Bennett in Utah and then Tim Bridgewater, the, which the Chamber of Commerce went to Bennett, then they went to Bridgewater, and they lost on both in the Republican primaries in Utah. And the list goes on and on. So, uh, by the way, Nikki Haley in South Carolina defeating um, Gresham Barrett and Cha uh, Com Chamber of Commerce backed Bob Inglis, the incumbent Republican in South Carolina. He lost. Now, so you look at this and you say, you know what? Give credit to the Tea Party guys. Now, I don't know which way they're going to go if they do their massive deregulation ideas. The Chamber of Commerce, my guess, will be ecstatic with them anyway. But uh, overall, they're actually fighting their corporatists that are giving the cash to their incumbent candidates, and they're winning, which you can't necessarily say of the progressives. There have certainly been some victories. You know, Joe Sestak beat Arlen Specter. Uh, but overall, Blanche Lincoln beat Bill Halter in Arkansas. That's the corporatist candidate that won. Uh, uh, Michael Bennett just won in Colorado. He's more corporatist than his opponent, Andrew Romanoff. Progressives not doing as good a job. Is that partly because the White House is going around throwing money and effort and resources at those incumbents that are corporatists? Certainly that has a large role to play in it. The corporatists have more money because they got the corporate cash. That has a large role to play in it. But, you know, the bottom line is here you got to give credit to the conservatives for throwing out the bums a little bit better than the progressives are. Now, we'll have to see how those Tea Party guys actually legislate, and if they go back to just giving all the money away through either deregulation or simply subsidies to the largest corporations in the world, well, then their fight and their effort and their conservatives' voters putting them into office is going to be totally wasted. Now, in some cases, like Rand Paul and the defense contractors, I have some hope that that won't happen, that he'll be a little tougher on the defense contractors. But in some cases like Rand Paul and Ken Buck and Sharon Angle, if she wins, not likely, but if she does, uh, that they would then massively deregulate, and then companies like the coal mines in Kentucky, for example, would be like, booyah, no more regulation, we don't have to do as many safety checks, more people die, hey, you know what, invisible hand of the free market, what could I do? But I make more money, and that doesn't help anybody. And more importantly, for the banks, if you do the same kind of deregulation, they're going to collapse the economy again, and then they're going to take that money out of our pockets, thereby destroying the whole point of those conservative votes in favor of those Tea Party candidates. So conservatives, as I give you credit for it, well, you also got to make sure that you hold those guys accountable. And part of that is don't buy into this deregulation nonsense. Government is, of course, not always the answer. But if it's, as far as being the cops on the, on the streets and the refs in the games... That's what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to look out for us. And our politicians are supposed to be our representatives to make sure that big business doesn't rip us off any more than big government does. And by the way, a lot of Republicans totally understand that. There's a new poll out by Surveys USA. It was commissioned by MoveOn, but it's done by an independent polling group, Surveys USA. If you want to take it with a grain of salt because of who commissioned it, totally up to you. I'm giving you the information. Now, what did that poll show? 76% of Republicans in the survey said that it is very important or somewhat important for a candidate to commit to reducing influence corporations have over elections. 76% saying corporations have too much influence. That's 76% of Republicans. 64% of Republicans said they'd be they'd commit to that they'd be more likely to vote for a candidate who backed a constitutional amendment 
overturning Citizens United. Current Republicans love Citizens United. They're like, oh, since we're the party of big business, big corporations, and basically taking bribes through lobbyists, whew, this lets us do it. No problem, right? More money comes to the Republican Party. But their actual Republican voters are saying, I don't want you getting bought. I don't want the Democrats being bought. I don't want you being bought. In fact, 64% of Republicans saying constitutional amendment overturns Citizens United. We don't want that corporate influence in the Republican Party. Look, if you can actually keep your candidates to what you want and get them to do what you want, in, in this regard, I would have tremendous respect for the conservative voters, Republican par- the new Republican Party that would emerge. My guess is you're not going to be able to do it. Okay? My guess is those guys are going to take your money and your votes and laugh at you, as Democrats often do with liberals and progressives. Very often do. And then they'll take the corporate cash to win their next time around. But if you can hold them to their word, and they don't actually funnel our money to corporations, hey, all of a sudden we're having a conversation.